what's going on beautiful people welcome back to another video today we are going to be exploring another one-stop shop but it's a little bit different and so this one-stop shop really really excites me because it is from a subscription that i have been using for years and they have kind of the same labs format as google as you saw in the last video so without further ado my name is dlo brands and let's get into it so bam right here we have Envato Labs. If you have ever heard about Envato Elements or Envato Market, this is the AI department of Envato. And so they have their own AI models. I'm not sure if they are trained based on other LLMs, but it's definitely likely. But inside of their labs, they have one, two, three, four, five different categories. So image gen, which is um, photo generation image edit, which is image editing. And we're going to get into that uh, voice gen, which is kind of the same thing as uh, the platform called Hey Gen. They have or 11 labs. They give you voices of uh, video gen. You can generate video and inspo gen, which is basically kind of like a Pinterest board type of thing. Uh, but this is very cool because when you are within the Envato universe, their subscription prices are very good. And so when you have this at your disposal, it just makes it a lot sweeter. And so um, if you do want to get an Envato subscription and also support the channel, be sure to go down to the link in the descriptions and utilize my affiliate code or my affiliate link and get your subscription and also tap into this AI platform. But Let's get into it. So right here we have the regular prompt window as we have with everything else. Uh, we can change the aspect ratio right here with three uh, clicks on a, of a button. And so what we're going to do is let's say a T-Rex reading a newspaper in a large wooden chair with baby T-Rex next to him. And so when you put a prompt like this, you can actually click this option, which says to enhance prompt. And so we click enhance prompt. It is actually going to add more things to our prompt. So basically, this is going to make prompting a lot easier. Uh, if you go down here, you can see prompt tips, but it's basically going to add a lot of edits to your prompt. Now, some things can be wrong. For example, we do not want a T-Rex engrossed in a newspaper actually engrossed means just that they're in, indulged in it so that is correct a juvenile t-rex stands beside the chair looking up intensively this this actually looks really really nice so let's generate it and then with the generation that we get we will edit it using the image edit and then we will actually uh try to turn the same thing into a video and so Right here, it's giving us some options. It's actually giving us eight options. And at first glance, it kind of looks like um, a Dolly, Dolly 3 type of style to it, especially with the kind of contrast. But this one definitely is the closest. Of course, we see some discrepancies like uh, the leg isn't going through the chair. So just nuanced stuff like this isn't going to be really, really present in these models as much. Um, this one looks disgustingly dolly, you know, old dolly. And so um, you're not going to get a finished image for you to use from a platform like this. Um, at some level, it could be usable. However, it's just not as good as something as like ChatGPT right now, but it still is usable. So let's just let's just get this one. Um and we are gonna go directly to edit. And so it's gonna take us to image edit. And right here, we have a few different options. We see that they actually generate these images in over 1000 pixels. And so if we upscale this, we can upscale it to about 2000 by 2000. And that was relatively quickly as well. So it didn't really change that much. It just made things a little bit more blurrier a little more high quality i would say but not not anything too noticeable but if you are using i've used this on tons of 
of photos. If it's a more blurry photo, of course, that upscale is going to look much more prominent. But here we can also go to replace. And so we can actually say, hey, maybe I don't want a baby dinosaur down there. Maybe I want a, let's see, a, a camera tripod. Let's just say camera tripod. So it's about to replace this inside of the image. I don't know how good it's going to look. I haven't actually used the replace feature, but I'm expecting that it won't be too, too bad. So bam, it's actually going to give us multiple, multiple options. So it gave us nine options, eight options. So it actually, so there's a camera tripod right there. Okay. Camera tripod right there. Okay. <laughs> um, we have a little bit of a tripod. We have a little bit of like a speaker type of thing. A little bit of a tripod. Nothing, nothing that, that really like, you know, this one is cool, I guess. This one is cool, but it's still not very, you know, life accurate. And so what we can do is erase as well. We can erase this tripod. And so we can say T Rex sitting and we'll just erase this. And so it has now removed the tripod from the image. And, you know, it still hasn't fixed the legs and stuff like that, but I don't I don't think it will. You have to have like a good starting image to have good results from this. But we do see that it did remove the tripod. And so we can generate similar. So we can actually crop this. Let's crop it down to just the dinosaur looking at the newspaper. Let's keep this. Let's generate similar. Describe the change you wish to make. Um, dramatic atmosphere with, let's say, T-Rex wearing reading glasses. Dramatic atmosphere. Let's generate that. See what it gives us. So it has actually, you know, it it has generated the images with glasses, but these images are just, you know, this this looks more closer to the actual image. They actually just added glasses onto this one, which cool, but it's just still not realistic. Um, these are other renditions. They just, you know, you're generating similar images. And so these aren't going to be the type of images that you use inside of your work. Rather, they will be the images you use for inspiration or ideation or just bringing about the idea of the design you plan to make. And so we are just going to, you know, click this one because this looks like the closest to our original prompt. Of course, I don't like the colors. I don't like the contrast, but this is the best one. And so right down here, we can actually generate a video. So let's click that. And what it will actually do is generate a video um, based on this scene. And so what we will do is generate. But beautiful people, we have many AI resources available for you to um, take advantage of this power. And so if you are looking for prompts that you can use for your business in terms of branding, or you're looking for packages of prompts for image generations or best practices for building products with AI, uh, we have products for all each one of these things. So go down to the description, uh, click the respectable link and purchase that product. These products aren't like regular um, AI products, they aren't a collection of prompts that I just went into ChatGPT and said, hey, create me some prompts for this. This has come from trial and error. Like I said, over the last two years, I've been using this. So be sure to tap into those resources, but also remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But let's see the result that it gave us. Okay. Okay. So basically, the dinosaur is just moving its head. It's like, oh, okay, I see what I'm reading. Um, cool. I mean, it's not anything too crazy, but through that process, we used image gen, image edit, and video gen. And so now what we could do is look at voice gen. So if you've ever used Hey Gen or Eleven Labs, they have a number of voices that you can utilize. But on here, and so we can actually hear these sounds. I'm Wyatt, and nothing beats the rush of a high stakes poker game. 
That's Wyatt. I'm Sophie, and my ideal afternoon. That's Sophie, but we are actually gonna go for David. I'm David, and I'm dedicated to bringing the news to life with clarity、okay. and honesty. Um, we can say anything. We have a character window of 400 characters, but we can say anything in here. We can say this newspaper is really making me think badly about the world, and so you can generate that. This newspaper is really making me thinking badly about the world. And that took three seconds. That 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 was so very quickly. And so,、um, let's just listen to it one more time. This newspaper is really making me thinking badly about the world. Bam! And as you can hear, it has a dynamic aspect to the voice, so it's actually going along with kind of what's being said. So when you're saying a newspaper is making you think badly about the world, you're sounding concerned. And so with these voice、uh, generations, they will adapt to what is being said. And so this is a great、um, tool if you would like to create images for ideas, edit images. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I have gone in here and uploaded some image. For example, let's see. Let's let's just do this image. So, if we wanted to remove the background of this image, matter of fact, let's upscale to four times. We're gonna upscale this image. Then we are going to. You see that difference? You see that difference? Like the the quality difference is is definitely noticeable on this one. And so that's what I was saying with the the blurrier images.、Uh, let's keep it. And what we will do is. Remove background, and so what it is going to do is keep the subjects and take out the background, and so now, boom, we have a PNG image of our subjects that is a very good cutout. If you go inside of、uh, Photoshop with this image, you most likely would just have to、um, kind of fix the edges, but that's very easy to do if you know how to do it. And so this is another use case of、um, Envato Labs. But thank you so much for watching this video today. If you would like to see more AI videos, be sure to comment what you were looking for, or what you're interested in, or anything new that you've been seeing, and I'll definitely、uh, go over it. Have some exciting、uh, videos coming out between branding and AI, and so、uh, just stay up to date. Turn on post notifications. Be sure to join the community, and also、um, I will see you in my next video. Peace. Greetings, business owners. Have you ever wondered how you should show up on the online marketplace or in person for your customers? Well, the number one thing that you need to focus on is branding. How are you appearing to your customers, and what type of relation are you communicating with them? And this is exactly what we do at the Views Agency. We handle full service projects as well as if you're just looking to get your branding identity done. So if If this is something that you're interested in, be sure to follow me at Delo Brands or or send me an email at dlogan at theviewsagency dot com, and we can get your project started today.